Hi, this is Mark from Show Me Cables, and today I'm going to show you how to terminate a Cat 5e Keystone dual row jack. The materials we need for the installation are Cat 5e cable, a Cat 5e Keystone jack, a punch down tool, technician scissors, and a cable stripper. The first thing we are going to do is we are going to strip back the jacket of the cable. Taking our rotary stripper, we remove the jacket. With our scissors, we can clip off the string and begin to fan out the pairs. You'll notice that there are four pairs that are color-coded, and we can untwist them and get them ready for use. Once I have my pairs fanned out, I can lay them onto the IDC connector on the back of the jack in the appropriate color code. The color code is printed on the jack for reference. The color code shows the order of conductors. You'll notice that each conductor has a color, orange, orange-white, green, green-white, etc. Match the colored conductors to the color code and place in the appropriate IDC slot. For most applications, choose the 568B color code. Insert the conductors on top of the IDC connectors and push them down with a little force. Once you have laid out the conductors according to the right color code, take your impact tool and punch down the conductors. The impact tool pushes the cable into the IDC connectors and also removes any excess cable you have. Here is a properly installed Caf IV keystone jack. The last step is to push on the stuffer cap to protect the cables and ensure that you don't lose connection. 